Hello, everyone. This is GM Pyro from Team Ithaverse. Once again, coming at you from the Ithaverse, the turn-based game, and wanted to give you a quick rundown. This is our quick start guide. Now, don't get me wrong. Any player should uh, take the time to quickly read through all the steps at least once through, but this guide is for the person who has played uh, the fifth edition version of Dungeons and Dragons before, and probably for those who've created their own characters before. Because that is probably the hardest step in getting started, is, is getting your character ready. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, you should either own the book or buy the book. Here's a link to a website where you can do so. Or uh, probably more importantly, own the system reference document. I say own it. It's a free download from the website address there at the top. Uh, it has the rules and the that we will be referencing for this game. And uh, any other content will all be included in the system reference document. There are also some other online resources at, for instance, dndbeyond.com, and I, I emphasize the letter N there, that's D-N-D, beyond, not the and sign. Great website with a compendium of information that's available to players uh, on any device, any portable device, not just computers, so it's a, a great help while you're playing, and you can generate characters. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but... Um, Jumping right into it, how do you play this game and how does it differ from what you're used to around the tabletop? Well, you're going to be using our uh, turn-based forum. And uh, on the screen here, you see when you, uh, when you are, after you've created your character and you're playing, you're going to receive a message from the game staff, uh, your game master, if you will. And you'll be able to read that's private message. And it is an outline of what your character sees. You've got the date, the time, what's going on around the character. In reality, the post would probably be much more lengthy and detailed than what we're showing you here, but we want to show you on one screen how you read what it is your character sees. Uh, your uh, game master has even said something out of character, a little comment there at the bottom about something that's going on. In this case, it was experience points you earned. And you just click reply or use the quick reply blocks at the bottom and type back to the game master. And uh, this is a narrative storytelling method of playing this game. So. Obviously, we want you to be creative. You write this in a, a paragraph format, much like in a book. You'll see that we're also using third person. Uh, we're looking over the shoulder of the character. We're not using, we're not saying I do this and I do that like you might be accustomed to uh, in a tabletop game. And that's because this is a massively multiplayer optional game. You may be mixing with others. And if everybody calls themselves I, 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 that gets really confusing really quick. So we refer to our character by their name. We type our, uh, in the present tense because it's happening now and you are typing to your game master what it is you want your character to attempt to do what they're thinking what's in their mind what their plan is that's fine but any actions are unresolved you can't say I go up and I thump the orc and beat him to death well you don't know if you even hit him much less beat him to death that's for the game master and the dice to decide so your game master will get a, an email or a private message I should say very much like what you're going to get and uh, it has what you've typed that you want your character to do. And then, of course, uh, within about 24 hours, some games will move faster because the group wants to move faster. Some groups will play slower, only a couple times every week. But uh, the average will be once per day. You'll get a response, and you'll be expected to respond to your game master and continue the story along, and you go back and forth. And that's how you play this game. There's a lot of other interesting information on the website. You're going to find, of course, the reading material section is – a huge uh, plethora of details and documents. The ones that are important that you know here as part of the quick start guide is the official rules and the terms of service. Matter of fact, we're calling that the policies and procedures now. Uh, you are going to be expected when you join the game to agree to those terms, agree to understand them. So it's important that you know where to find them. And of course, there's other interesting information there. But <clears throat> jumping right into it, the, the, thing you, the things that are most important in those documents, the, the terms and the policies, is that you understand that this is a, a, a dangerous environment. Your character, just like any other role-playing tabletop game, is going to be facing monsters. They're going to be facing traps. They're, the dungeon master is not there to uh, kill your character, but they are certainly there to make it challenging and make it exciting. So you're going to be constantly facing uh, environmental challenges. But this is a PvP game, a player versus player. You can choose to play good characters or evil characters, and you can team up in those groups as well. And you better do so carefully, because if you're a bunch of good guys and you team up with an evil character not realizing it, they may be stabbing you in the back when you least expect it. 
point I'm getting to is not just the environment is dangerous, the players are as well. Now, it's free to play this game up to, uh, through level one. You start the game as a level one character that either you create yourself or you pick from a pre-generated list of characters that we help you with. But you start at first level, you earn experience every time you participate, and eventually you'll earn enough to be uh, to level up and to improve your character. Uh, it is your choice to decide if you want to continue to play at level one and just freeze the experience at that point and enjoy the game for free, or if you want to subscribe and have the option to level up your character, continue earning experience. The subscription rates are currently at the bottom of the screen there at $5 per character per month, and you can have any number of characters you want, which obviously means you can play more characters, more options, more times per day. But uh, one of the first things you're gonna have to do as you're putting together your character is, uh, of course, come up with a theme, a concept, and a name for that character, and let's make sure that that name does not, has not already been used by someone else. So use the search feature. You don't have to be logged into the site to do it. You can be a guest. Search to see if one of the character names you're thinking about using has already been in play. If not, then you can move forward and assume that you've got a good chance of getting that character name you want. Two things that we're going to expect that not other games necessarily don't expect is we're going to expect you to develop an appearance and a backstory. An appearance, again, one paragraph explains what other characters see when they look at your character. Do they do they see eye color, hair color, height, weight, or approximations? It doesn't have to be, you know, exact. It can be written in a very eloquent way. Uh, what kind of weapons do they see? Now, if you're hiding weapons inside your cloak or your backpack, don't list them. That's, this is what people see, and this information will be shared with other players who come into contact with your character, and vice versa. The backstory, however, is, of course, totally private. It's just between you and the game staff. It is a... Uh, uh, explanation as to how your character decided and why they decided to start adventuring, why they left home, what was their uh, upbringing like, do they have parents, do they know who they are, et cetera, et cetera. So those two items are going to be expected of you, even if you pick from a pre-generated character out of the list. All the numbers and stats and weapon attacks and everything will be created, even the spells are picked out for you on a pre-generated character. But what's not included are those customizations, the character's name, you know, what do they look like, and certainly what their backstory is. So you will be expected to at least fill in that information. And then when you do so, you'll do so on a form fillable character sheet, just like the one you see here. All the blanks in this PDF are, well, the ones that are designed to be edited can be edited, and uh, of course you would be expected to do so. Type it up and submit it. Uh, if you don't have access to, or excuse me, if you want to create your own character from scratch and you want to use a blank form fillable character sheets, they're available online from wizardsandghosts.com, or excuse me, wizards.com, their website, and you can download them and fill them out and submit them that way. Or you can utilize some of the websites we mentioned earlier. Uh, dndbeyond.com is tied into the SRD document and the compendium. It'll help you generate a character, walk you through steps, left to right, one, two, three, four, five, how to create a character and will eventually spit out a PDF at the end. There is a separate video that kind of walks you through that if you want to take a look at it. Same thing with orcpub2.com, great resource for creating character sheets. They even have the create character sheet for newbies. They can help you build one really fast and uh, will walk you left to right through the steps. Probably the most important rules to know when creating a character, whether it's on paper or using these websites, is that you must use the standard scores system. You can't just roll dice or generally pick numbers out of the air. You must use the standard score format as described in the SRD. You also have to use the equipment that's provided. You don't create gold and buy equipment. You use the pre-existing equipment packets. But again, the videos that I've prepared will show you how to do that, and anybody who's built a character before should be familiar with what I'm talking about. One of the last steps, then, is that you want to join the game. Assuming you don't have an account, you'll create an account with us, email that character sheet to us, which attaches to the account. And then usually within no more than 24 hours, you're gonna start getting bombarded with information from us. First, you'll be invited to log in. We'll have a username and password created for you that you can change. Uh, you'll want to access the character sheet portion of the website where you will then cr uh, create a thread here at the top right, circled in black is a create thread button. And you create the space where your character sheet will go. It's it's created by you so that it is uh, private and only accessible by you. Type your character's name in the subject. And this is a great place to put in some last minute requests or comments for the staff if you want. Like uh, in this case, this character said, hey, 
I'm not necessarily joining anybody else, but I do have a friend who may want to join me later and might want to be, you know, positioned in such a way geographically to be able to find my character easily. Also, I've worked with a particular game master before and I'd like to work with them again or whatever. If there's some last minute notes you want to type, this is a good place to do it. And this is where your assigned game master will pick up and take off very soon thereafter, or you may already have a message pending where they have already dropped you into the game somewhere, in which case uh, you already have a turn started and you are, of course, the now the timer's running. Uh, the expectation, unless you've established some other format, would be that you, or like for instance, in that last post that you want to, how often you'd like to participate and what you expect that participation level to be, how frequently, uh, I, we would expect to probably hear from you every 20, at least every 24 hours. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Jump into it, click on the message, and uh, get started. If you have uh, questions, you can certainly submit them through the support button at the top of the website. But this is how to get started. Quickly read through steps one through six in the quick start guide, and you'll be ready to go. That's it from Team Mythiverse and GM Pyro. I'll see you online. As always, it's your game. Play it your way.